What up, YouTube? Tim Reese here. This is Muff. I'm doing my reviews for past uh, June films. Here's my review for a comic classic, and that is the 2000 Martin Lawrence led film, Big Mama's House. Big Mama's House is hilarious. I always loved Big Mama's House. You know, here you got Malcolm Turner, who's this FBI agent, who is tough, smart, and he's also a master of disguise. And so, like, uh, Malcolm is taking on his most, like, uh, challenging role um, ever. He decides to impersonate as, um, this, you know, sovereign uh, granny named Big Mama. And using, like, you know, a few uh, tricks of disguise, he uh, completely also transforms himself into Big Mama, even taking on um, the... Uh, even taking on uh, everyday, uh, you know, Big Mama's routine here from cooking, uh, soul food, to delivering uh, babies, and even testifying at church and all. I mean, of course, we've seen, you know, uh, we've seen black actors don these uh, play grandmas before. You know, we've seen uh, Tyler Perry do it with Rodea. Eddie Murphy has done it pretty well. And Marlon Lawrence got into the business. I, I believe uh, Medea actually was like in late 90s with the plays and stuff like that. But. Uh, anyway, I, you know, I always want to see some sort of crossover. Like, I would love to have seen a interaction with Tyler Perry's Medea and Marlon Lawrence's Big Mama. That would be, that would have been a cool interaction right there. Uh, anyway, I really got kicked out of this. You know, uh, Marlon Lawrence is, he's a comedy legend. Whether you talk about the classic TV show Martin or the Bad Boys movies. You know, uh, the... Uh, prosthetic uh, makeup here created by Greg uh, Ken, um, you know, was pretty good. He also uh, did the makeup for Mrs. Doubtfire and um, Monica Man with Robin Williams. Um, so, yeah, you also had some other interesting um, folks here, too. Like, you actually had, uh, you got uh, Neil Long here. You also got uh, Paul Giamatti, Terrence Howard. Uh, Anthony Anderson, Tashina Arnold, Octavia Spencer. You also had Cedric the Entertainment as the Reverend here. Uh, you even had a very young Aldous Hodge before the Invisible Man fame. Uh, he played like this teen uh, playing ba uh, basketball player. It's pretty, like, I totally forgot he was in this. Um, you also had, you know, Speaker Martin. You had Tashina Arnold. I really always liked like, Tashina Arnold. I always thought she was really funny uh, on Martin and all. Uh, anyway, yeah, this the, um, Big Mamas was also directed by Roger Gazdell, who also gave us the Scooby Doo movies. I uh, used to give us some other stuff too, like the Smurfs films, uh, Beverly Hills Chihuahua. I know, uh, I always thought Roger Gazdell did a really decent job with a film like this. Uh, Nicole Prescott, who also um, who actually plays Big Mama's neighbor, is pretty fun. Uh, it's always really hilarious to see. Um, you see um, Marlon Lawrence, you know, don the suit. He's, of course, uh, played the role twice as well. One of which was in uh, 2005's Big Mom. Was it 2005? Yeah, 2005's Big Mom's House 2. Then uh, the last time he donned the uh, um, suit was in uh, 2011's Big Mom's, um, like, far on, like, side, which I didn't mind as well. Uh, that one, that time, um, that one had uh, Brandon T. Jackson in it. That was pretty fun. Big Mom's House 2 wasn't all that great, but... Big Mama's House 3 was hilarious. Uh, but yeah, I really got a kick out of, uh, yeah, um, I really got a kick out of this film. And I'll be down to check out a fourth one. Like, Marlon Lawrence, if, if you ever watch any of my videos, do it, give, give me a fourth one. Give a brother a fourth one, man. I mean, I'd love to see another, uh, Big Mama's House. Uh, but that aside, if you guys have never really seen the first Big Mama. Uh, you can find it on Fandango Now, Voodoo, Prime Video, Apple TV. Um, well, you can't really find it on any of the bigger, like, the bit, um, major streaming sites. But, that aside, uh, definitely go check them out. They're really hilarious. Uh, anyway, let me lead you guys. Have you ever seen Big Mama's House? If so, what story? Were you a fan of it? Were you not a fan of it? Uh, what were some of your favorite, like, out of all three Big Mama's movies, which one is your favorite? Uh, drop, and would you be down to check out 4.1? Drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Timmy Sayo.